yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day Now we on road, came from Yo, what is good, John? Welcome back to yet again Another episode of J.I. Productions It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again With another banger video for you guys as y'all can see, we got Vader posted up behind me. Y'all can tell by the title and the thumbnail. Today is a video that a lot of you guys have been wondering, um, you know what I'm saying, and wanting to see what's basically going on between me and HHP, my old tuner. Um, so, you know what I mean, without further ado, you know, you, you don't have to look too far, or stop searching to get the answer from some random dude who has no idea what the hell's going on you feel me i'm finna let you guys know so basically if you guys are new to the channel this is my 2021 camaro ss1 le um do not mind how dirty it is right now it is completely filthy i'm gonna be washing it today but like i said this is my 2021 camaro ss1 le um it's basically a boton car long tube headers lt2 intake manifold matter of fact let me pop the hood and show y'all. Okay, so it is basically a Boton car. Speed engineering, long tube headers, one and seven eighths. It's currently catless. Um, three inch piping all the way back to an X pipe and the stock MPP exhaust. LT2, non ported intake manifold, Rotofab intake, and then a flex fuel kit. Literally, that's all I have done to the car. It's a very simple Boton car. It's not full Boton. I'm still on the stock throttle body. I'm still, um, there's a couple more things that I can do. Um, I could port the intake manifold if I wanted to. Um, and then some other little small things that can make a difference, of course. But like I just said, they're small things. So it's like not that big of a deal to me. So like I was saying, how did this beef start? How did this like back and forth tension, whatever you guys want to call it, start between me and HHP? So basically, as you guys know, if you guys have been a part of the channel for a minute or the past couple of months and you've been following along with the build, HHP originally tuned my car and my car ended up making 446 horsepower on E85. I did not get the torque numbers from Chuck because at the time he stated to me that, you know, his dyno was messed up. So it wasn't reading the torque numbers. Now, I did not know that prior to getting there, to getting my tune, but you know what I'm saying? I was already there, I'm already paying. It's not like I'm gonna say, oh, you're not showing torque numbers, well then, I don't want the tune. No, bro. Honestly, I'ma keep it a buck with y'all. I personally do not care about dyno numbers at all. I could care less. The only numbers that I actually care about are the quarter mile times, bro. That's legitimately the only numbers that I care about because at the end of the day, the dyno is just a tool for tuning purposes you feel me it does not make or break your build as far as like how fast or slow it is going down the drag strip makes or breaks your build on going how fast or slow it is that's how you go know if your car is fast or not if you're running fast times at the drag strip not if you're making a whole bunch of horsepower on the dyno like you know what i'm saying you can make a whole bunch of horsepower on the dyno and then you can go to the drag strip and your car is a dud it, it happens you know what i'm saying if you can't put the power down you'll be in that position you know what i'm saying so with that being said i didn't really care about the torque numbers it was what it was so got the car tuned by chuck um before before my tune even went down so basically i was set to get tuned at 11 o'clock right I like to be early, I really don't like to be late. I just feel like, you know what I'm saying, whenever I'm doing something that regards business, I like to do everything period correct, so I like to be early. Um, I really hate being late. So I pulled up at around 10.30 to get the tune, me and Alex. Um, we get there and there's a car on the rollers already. It was a manual 2016 to 2018 SS. It was black, um, I don't know what all was done to the car, but it was he was tuning that car before mine so he 
literally tuned that car until I want to say like 11 25 11 30 then they finally put my car on the dyno so that was thing number one I was like if I'm scheduled for this time you should be tuning my car at this time you feel me you shouldn't be tuning anybody else's car that just doesn't make any sense to me but it is what it is I let him do his thing and then we pulled my car in and we went ahead and tuned it now obviously like I said it made 446 on E85 on 93 i'm assuming it was like 423 420 something like that um i obviously have no idea because he didn't tell me um so i don't know what it made on 93 at his shop now this is when things get a little interesting so i went to the drag strip as you guys know and i ran the car the car ended up doing a a good pass at 11 8 if i'm not mistaken or 11 9 yeah, I believe it was an 11.9 with full interior and my girl in the car. Um, so then, you know, Chuck ended up reaching out to me and he was like, hey, how did the car do? I told him, he was like, okay, bet. If you take your seats out, put the car on a 17-inch drag pack and go back on full E85, you should be looking at numbers like 11.1, um, 11.3. So I did exactly that. I hit up my boy Frankie. I'm like, hey, bro, let me borrow the drag pack real quick. I took all the seats out the car, filled it up on E85, and we hit the strip. Literally, we got to the strip, and the car's best time was 11.7. Now, I'm like, okay, that's a little weird when, you know what I'm saying, you literally told me it should be between 11.1 and 11.3. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Now, my boy Sleaze, he was at the, two, uh, at the dyno, not the dyno, he was at the drag strip with me. Um, and a couple of the other homies and we were set to run they did not let him make a pass at the drag strip So we ended up going to Mexico when we went to Mexico You guys can see the video if you want you can go back and check it out. It's not cap is real Literally every single run that we did He would jump out ahead of me Vader would reel him in and then he'd be pinned to my quarter panel every single run that is a bone stock car versus a bolt-on car with a little bit of weight reduction and a tire. He should have been reading my plate. Like, it should have been hard for him to read my plate. And I ain't no disrespect to my boy, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, with that, with those runs, I was like, yeah, something's not right with the tune. So, I hit up Chuck. I'm like, hey, you know, whenever your dyno is done, I would like to come back and get another dyno session to see what the numbers are. Because I just felt like, you know, it was reading a little weird. And I wanted to know the torque. So, scheduled the time i pulled up and of course literally the same thing happened again he was working on somebody else's car except this time you know what i'm saying bro did not get out of the car bro did not like you know say hey man give me a couple minutes i'm gonna get with you i'm wrapping up this car nothing bro he acted like i was not there i'm literally standing in front of my car waiting for him everything is documented you can see it on video so i'm like okay cool that was, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. That was the last strike strike for me, bro. Because at the end of the day, I'm paying you my money. And you're obviously not caring enough to, you know what I'm saying? Even just tell me like, hey, bro, I'm running a little behind. Can you give me a second? Whoop -de -whoop. There's no communication, bro. And I hated that. Now, everybody was telling me after I posted that tune video that my car's tune was bad my car's tune was bad my boy creed from new orleans he was telling me like bro your car should be doing bigger numbers than that whoop de whoop and i'm like yeah after going to the drag strip i can tell you know something's wrong because we have similar setups and he went to the drag strip and his car is running 10 8 11 1 consistently so with that being said i knew something was wrong with vader so i ended up you know reaching out to my boy frank and you know he ended up, you know, connecting me with the guys over at NRG, Christian, the tuner, and Brandon, um, you know what I'm saying, his associate, man. Both, both of the homies, man, they do great work over there. That's when we ended up going over there, getting the car retuned, and I saw what I saw, and I ended up reaching out to Chuck and telling Chuck, you know, no, I didn't even reach out to Chuck. I said what I said, you know what I'm saying, on video, because after seeing what the car did in the in the temperature that we were in and the car was still able to perform like that and then seeing the 416 horsepower and 415 torque that the car was making when i first brought the car in i was definitely upset because 
literally I called this man Chuck the day I got tuned and I asked him hey man do you see anything like wrong with the car while he was tuning the car while we were making passes I'm asking him consistently because I like to know bro and he's literally he literally got an attitude with me and told me don't you think that if something was wrong with your car I would have told you woo -de woo and then here we are in 123 degree shop temps making 476 wheel horsepower on E85 and 448 wheel horsepower on 93 more power than he could have made on he made on e85 so like it just didn't make no sense and his response was to send me a video basically just being hella big-headed hella like cocky hella nonchalant not even giving a damn bro he literally had my car set up as if i had a 103 millimeter throttle body on it he dead ass commanded double the fuel than what the car was supposed to be, uh, you know what I'm saying, and from what stock is. He was demanding more, double the fuel than what stock's rating is. And then on top of that, my knock sensors. As you guys heard, Brandon said, you know what I'm saying, Christian had told both of us that basically my knock sensors were so desensitized, they were basically off. And the car was showing dips and it was pulling timing. So obviously there was, you know, potential knock or it was seeing some kind of knock and it wasn't happy. And you know what I'm saying? It's just all of this could have been avoided. All of this could have been avoided if he would have just actually did his job and tuned my car. I get it. It's a bolt-on car. It's not like, you know what I'm saying, I'm boosted. It's not like I went in there and, you know, got a cam package and did all this extra stuff and stuff like that. So, you know, maybe he didn't, like, prioritize me or whatever. Obviously, he didn't, though, because when he posted on his Instagram, my, my car getting tuned at his shop he posted that 2016 manual non 1le car <laughs> and said it was mine he also overcharged me for e85 when i paid him 750 dollars cash he counted 750 dollars cash then told me that i needed to pay 25 dollars for e85 and ended up charging me 70 dollars <laughs> so like y'all it's it's a lot of stuff that you know just took place in that whole endeavor that got us to where we are now it's not oh i just didn't like the numbers that the dino tune showed or i didn't you know what i'm saying like what the fuck like it wasn't none of that weirdo stuff bro it's legit like bro he messed up my car and then when I confronted him about it or asked him about it, he got an attitude with me as if I didn't know what I was talking about and then ran to Facebook, you feel me, and started dragging my name. So, you know, it is what it is. The numbers don't lie. Fake tuners do. We just got called out by a C6 that's tuned by him. Um, so August 5th, we will be at Houston Raceway Park. If you guys are in the city, in the area, and you can come out, come on out, man. We're going to be run invader for the first time and we'll be racing that c6 that's tuned by him so we'll see how it goes the c6 is headers intake and uh a drag pack so we'll see what it does man um i'm not gonna lie overall man the car has been running phenomenal i don't know if you guys remember but on 93 on chuck's tune the car felt mad sluggish on 93 with Christian's tune from NRG, the car feels amazing. It still feels hella responsive, it's hella peppy. It still gets up and goes. and still putting the power down nice. I, I have no complaints, honestly, man. So if you're looking for a decent tune, a good tune, or a tuner that's actually gonna give you the time of day and actually talk to you and explain stuff to you when you have questions, then go ahead, hit up my boys over at NRG because they will definitely get you guys right. But yeah, man, I just felt like I might as well go ahead and make this video and tell you guys what's really going on before people try to make their their own narrative about it and make it something that it's not. It's simply the guy, I went to the guy for a tune. He gave me a shitty tune. I went to a, another tuner out of the city and he did his damn thing. And this is where we are. So, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I'm gonna stand on exactly what I've said in every single video. I don't care, bro. NRG to the front. You can at me if you want. I don't care. NRG to the front, bro. 
But without further ado, y'all, that's actually gonna wrap it up for today's video. So if you guys are new to the channel, man, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button for the kid. Turn on all those post notifications, man. And just drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think about the car. Let me know if you guys are excited for the track day to see what we're gonna be running in the quarter mile now, man. Y'all drop y'all guesses down in the comment section down below. Live chat, tap in, y'all already know what one, man. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go ahead and roll that outro, man.